Yo, Gamer name here. Welcome to my character specific hit abilities guide. And we're going to open it off with Leroy Smith. Now, in this game, hit adds so much depth abilities to certain characters that changes their play style and they become like so much powerful. And I've seen so many people waste characters' hit abilities by like burning it early or burning it in a combo. Immediately they go into hit. So, there is a very specific way in which you want to use certain character abilities hit mechanics and Leroy is one of those characters. So I'm going to ex be explaining how to fully optimize Leroy's hit mechanic. So again, this video will be long as both of my guides watch it at your own pace by using the timestamps. And yeah, let's get into it boys. Okay, so firstly, I'm going to start by explaining how Leroy's hit mechanic works. Now, again, I've done a two-hour long video explaining every single character's hit abilities in the game, including Leroy. So if you haven't seen this video, please check it out. Check out the specific timestamp for Leroy's, for Leroy's section. But just for the sake of it, I'm going to do a brief explanation on Leroy's hit as well. Okay, so Leroy's hit is centered around chip damage, right? Whenever Leroy uses his Fury of Punches, stuff like 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, down forward 1, 1 plus 2, right forward 3, 1 plus 2, uh, Matthews, Hermit, High Step 1 plus 2, Hermit 1 plus 2, all these few punches deal massive amounts of chip damage at the cost of his hit gauge. So for example, we're going to hit, so look at this, that's chip damage, chip damage, chip damage, right? Uh, so everything, even his hit smash, right? So much chip damage. So this is how Leroy's hit mechanic works. The other aspect to his hit mechanic is that whenever Leroy lands a parry, he retains hit. So for example, uh, I'm going to hit and then play this. You see my, 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 my hit gauge flashing green? Right, look at that. I gain some hit. I gain some hit. I gain some hit. So any parry that Leroy lands whilst in hit will replenish some of his hit gauge. So with that said, you really want to use this hit mechanic in specific times. Like for example, a character can regain their hit back, sorry, their health, their gray health back whenever they land a hit engager on you. So as a Leroy player, you want to try by all means to go into hit after your opponent has used their hit already. So they don't really have, you know, the potential to make a huge comeback through their gray health, right? So just, that's just a basic example. So Hit mechanic explained, let's get into the details. Okay, so now let's talk about when exactly you want to go into hit as Leroy Smith. So like I said earlier, since Leroy revolves around cheap damage, you want to try as best as you can to mitigate ways in which your opponent can retain that health back. So with that said, getting into hit with Leroy should be very, very... Like you have to decide when to go. I know it's very difficult. Sometimes you really can't decide... Because at the end of the day, moves like this are so good to the point that you have to use them. Like, it's a very strong mid, but it's for, it forces you into hit. Which I don't really like. I really hoped you could choose when to go into hit and when not to go into hit. But like in this game, sometimes you really can't. But I'll give you some tips on how you can try your best to not go into hit. So because, like I said, when your opponent goes into hit, after they land a hit engager, they can gain so much grey health back, right? It's, it's ridiculous. It gains so much great health, and you want to try your best to avoid that with Leroy. So, for example, um, Leroy has, has two 14 frame punishers, right? So, he has 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 2, right? This one is a 14 frame punish that takes you into hit. But people always forget that Leroy has two 14 frame punishers. He has up 40 plus 4, 1 plus 2, right? This one does not take you into hit, right? It does three less points of damage, but it doesn't take you to it. So this should always be the punish you use if your opponent has not used their hit yet and you're trying to punish them at minus 14. Always use this over this, right? Trust me, guys, you don't want to go into hit before your opponent actually burns their hit. That's one scenario. Uh, second scenario is, for example, when you land counter it back three, right? 1 plus 2, 2 is guaranteed. It takes you into hit, right? So, when your opponent has not used their hit yet, you want to use 4, 1 plus 2 instead. This one even deals more damage, right? So this is a better option. 
when your opponent has not used their i'll keep on repeating myself when the opponent has not used their heat gauge go for four one plus two instead this applies to down back three as well counter it down back three same thing because one plus two is guaranteed as well hermit one plus two right right but when your opponent has burned out their hit yeah just just let it rock go into hit right here in their face now they have to guess and you can start your cheap damage pressure right that's how those are the kind of situations you want to go into hit now there are certain moves that force you like i said earlier uh forward forward four four is a hit engager but this one you don't have to use it right you don't it's a whiff punisher at most right a long range punisher as well but in situations where you can use this right you can also use for up forward three plus one plus two so there is no need there is no need to use this if your opponent still has their hit gauge uh down back one plus two is a punch parry hit engager now i know there are some situations where you want to use the punch parry right like it's a very very good move i know but like try your best to use up forward one or back two instead right that's if your opponent still has their hit gauge again i'll keep repeating myself it's a very, very like it's a very strong hit gauge and it's a very strong move i do understand like i said guys like sometimes you won't really have a choice right sometimes you just force yourself to go into hit you just say okay fuck it i have no choice you go into hit but try your best to be smart about it right good players like chikuring is an okay baker i think he's a korean lure player does this a lot he uses this instead of this if your opponent still has a hit gauge and i think lastly is his hermit one plus two this one as well but this is a very good mid right in hermit especially and it's hit confirmable this one must be the most difficult to avoid because it's too good it's a very strong mid in hermit of course you have other mids you have back one right you have forward four you have four as well but i do understand if you can't really make that decision to not go into hit sometimes it's difficult but like if you can try your best you will be rewarded trust me so with that said now let's talk about how you implement his chip damage whilst in hit okay so now how do you implement this chip damage in a match exactly because the problem with leroy with his um fury of punches is most of them are highs right that's the biggest problem leroy has all of these are high this is a high this is a high hermit one plus two is a high right so that's a huge huge problem that leroy suffers from so you must be smart around this the second thing is as you guys know laws for example let's do this right laws take out gray health as you can see that right it takes out gray health so now with that said down back three plays a huge role on how you want to mix and match this chip damage whilst you're in hit because down back three is a law that takes you into hermit and the next best thing is it's plus what plus five which means one plus two is a frame trap right and one plus two is one of those fury of punches and it's a mid as well so you can see how strong this is so you get both a bit of, of both worlds right you get cheap damage and you get to take away some of that cheap damage with the law leaving you in hermit which leaves you at a mix up with the mid to take away more cheap damage or go low and take away even more of that gray health so for example just something basic right let's say i land a hit engager so let's put this guy on standing hit right let's say i land um hunter stun plus two right so I'll do back three side step one plus two then back three one plus two i look at that chip damage already right i use the down back three to take away gray health one plus two to do more chip damage and if, if they don't block you can hit confirm this right this is perhaps Leroy is one of Leroy's best moves right this has to be like top five of Leroy's best moves it's very very strong especially in hit so try your best to implement his down back three right and decide whether to go for more chip or go low to take away more gray health um just another flow chart for you guys for example so let's say right right back three size the pyramid down back three one plus two look at that right it's good already it's good already again something different right back three cancel one plus two down three four one plus two down back three right one plus two right that's the thing and it might look as though okay but my pressure ends after i do the flurry of punches because this is minus nine right so you'll be like 
but why why you know keep attacking after a minus nine mid right this thing is hit confirmable and it can be delayed right it is launch punishable on block but you can get a hit dash after this right so if you if you use this as a mix-up right delay it right then burn it it becomes safe so your opponent sometimes will try to mash and you can get a launcher out of it secondly this goes under jab so it goes under high so if you try to jab you after this you are going to high crash boom you get a counter hit boom you get this guaranteed as well right so it's it's mind game so ideally yes it's minus nine so you want to block after this ideally right idea that's just some mind games or like mix-ups set behind this hermit one plus two so just try to get creative guys so back three as well is a very very good move to go into hermit as well this does cheap damage like normally without hit in hit it does cheap damage as well so this is a very very good tool to use as well to go into hit so you can go you can do back three right off of a hit engager right for example you can do this like i showed you guys earlier right stuff like that right burn it if you want and look at that chip already, already that's good that's so much chip damage right so like just, just let your imagination run i'm just giving you guys some ideas on how you revolve around the roy's hit because yes there are highs but trust me guys hey no one is going to be ducking larry that much this man has an orbital right so even after hitting gauger you orbital this is a mix-up right they duck they're eating what 86 damage right so you don't really just want to deck against Leo, but this man hits like a freaking track. So yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Um, his other good move is Hermit 1 plus 2. You guys have seen me use this move a lot. This move is plus 7. It's very, very good, right? Leaves you in close range. So down 1 plus 2 is a very good frame trap. So if I start respecting it, this lets you go in even more. So you can do like stuff like that. It's like Hermit 1 plus 2, dash up, down 4 1 plus 2, right? That's if they're respecting you, so something like this, for example. If you want a mid in neutral, right? This is like your best option for the fear of punches. So something like this, right? Manu or Hermit, side step on plus two, dash up, down for plus two. Manu or Hermit is really, really good as well. You don't really want to rely on back three, because at the end of the day, it's a high and it's a bit slow, so it can be dark. So you can either do back three cancel to side step on plus two, or just Manu or Hermit to side step on plus two. It's a mix up. Remember, Hermit has a hill sweep, it has laws for days. Right, so they try to duck, right? So it just messes up their timing. Like it's very, it's a very, very strong move, right? And plus seven, right? Plus seven, eight, no one pressing buttons after this because you can get down one plus two guaranteed. If they mash buttons, you can get back four as well. So again, gives you freedom to like dash up, right? I also love doing one plus two, one plus two. They know if they're not ducking, right? Dash up this, right? It's pretty, pretty good. Um, you can go low as well. Remember what I told you guys about down back three? Take away their cheap, their gray health, right? Uh, sorry, that's a mistake. Boom. Take away their gray health. Take away their gray health even more, right? Dash up, hit smash. Take away even more chip damage. So that's basically the idea behind using Leroy's hit, right? Or the flow of what you want to do when you have hit with Leroy. Don't be too obvious. You have hit, okay? Dash up, one plus two, one plus two, right? This is a high. People will expect it, you know, so don't be too obvious. Even down forward one, one plus two becomes a little bit obvious in hit because you're looking for that chip damage. So let's try to bait them. Let me check them, right? At the end of the day, when you're attacking, your hit gauge does not move. This is something people don't understand. If you keep attacking your opponent, your hit gauge does not drain. So just take the time to check them. Okay. Are they trying to duck my down forward one extension? Okay, they're not. Okay, boom. Go for my chip damage, right? And the good thing about this move is it has a follow up, right? the two so people won't try to jab afterwards usually so it gives you the chance the chance to go for like laws right go for more cheap damage stuff stuff like this it's pretty good right just try to check them if you want i know it's risky and safe only minus 10 though so you know not a huge risk so yeah just check them right they respect you go for more cheap right yeah it's decent guys this i'll share some clips on you know my Leroy chip damage stuff you know definitely I will do that so you know look forward to that so like overall when it comes to the idea behind his chip damage that's basically the flow of how you want to use his theory of punches all right so now let's talk about Leroy's hit smash because Leroy's hit smash 
is not the best in the game, honestly. It only does 41 damage, right? It sucks. I think that's even low damage, lower damage than Steve, right? Like, look at Devojin's hit smash, right? 52 damage, right? King does like what 60? Alas does 51, right? So damage comparison is awful. It's awful. Like, I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. His hit smash sucks when it comes to damage. But what it doesn't have in damage, it makes up in chip damage. Really cementing his archetype as like a chip damage god, right? So that's where Leroy's hit comes into play. So the thing about Leroy is or the thing about like chip damage hit smashes in this game is the more hits it has the more chip damage it does i think the second character that does the most chip on block should be steve but i might be mistaken so just for comparison's sake um this is devil Jean's hit smash on block right i showed you guys the damage on hit but this is on block look at the chip damage right that's really nothing that's, that's not even guaranteed so basically one two right yeah that's that's devil Jean's Right, that's his chip damage. But then look at Leroy's um, hit smash damage, or the hit smash chip damage, sorry. Right, look at that. Look at that chip, right, from hit smash. That's pretty ridiculous. That's pretty ridiculous. Let me just get another character, right? Let me get, um, let's get, da, 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 let's get, uh, let's get Jack. Let's get Jack. Just for comparison's sake. <clears throat> okay? So let's put him on block. Do, 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 do. Block, boom, got into hit, hit smash. Right? Yeah, Jack is slightly below Leroy as well. Let's look at that again. Right? That's Jack's hit smash, right? That's his chip damage, right? Let's take a look at Leroy's hit smash one more time. Okay? Going to hit, hit smash, okay? Hit burst, yes, record that. Right? See, that's slightly better than Jack, right? So yeah, what Leroy's hit smash does not have in damage, it makes up for in chip damage. So now, how do you implement this mechanic? So Leroy, unlike Steve, right? It's actually worth, what am I doing? It's actually worth throwing out Leroy's hit smash because of the massive chip damage it gets. Because again, it leaves you in Hermit Stance, and Hermit Stance has crazy laws, right? So. What that means is you get to put them in a defensive state or a guessing game, right? Take away their gray health with the law. You have the threat of taking away their gray health with the law, right? At the same time, having the opportunity to mix them up with a mid, right? Which launches on normal hit, by the way. Hermit Ford 4, as you guys know. Uh, this shit launches. What am I doing? Right? So. It's very, very scary. Just something basic, right? Something basic. Uh, let's go manual. In fact, manual hit, right? Let's say I go, I go into hit, right? Back three, right? Look at the chip. Look at that chip damage, right? And that's with manual hit. Now imagine the possibilities when you have a full hit gauge. You go into it with a hit engage, and you have like the full hit gauge, right? That's just Half of the hit gauge, or like 70% of the hit gauge, and already I've done that massive amount of chip damage. Remember, I've done the hit smash on block, so I'm in Hermit. So I have a chance to take away a huge chunk of their gray, head, gray health with the health sweep, right? And I feel as though this is something most people don't understand about Leroy in Tekken 8. Fundamentally, yes, he's bad, but like the chip damage aspect of him makes him very, very, very scary in this game. So again, Leroy's hit smash might appear bad in the sense of damage. The damage is trash. Don't get me wrong. Compared to other characters, it's awful. It's awful. The fact that they even have gray health, right? It's bad. But on block is where it makes it an insane hit smash, right? And go low to take away that gray health. Look at that. Right? That's pretty freaking strong. It's pretty I'm telling you guys, Leroy is not is underrated. I'm telling you this. He's not as bad as everyone makes him to be. I don't, I don't argue with his placement on most of the tier list. I think he's actually decent, right? But like, yeah, it's pretty insane. So guys, try to implement his hit smash mostly on block. It's, it's good to throw it out is what I'm trying to say, right? St characters like Steve, it, it does less damage than, you know, a hit, a hit dash into follow-up. 
right? So it's not worth throwing it out, and it puts into Lionheart. I know, and I'm not talking about Steve because I just get I just get salty and pissed. But with Leroy, it's actually worth throwing it out, even on block. Okay, we also need to talk about his hit dash, right? Burning a hit engager into a hit dash, right? For example, down one plus two, right? So what you want to do for this is if you're trying to burn a hit dash with Leroy, there are two options that I want you guys to be using. The first is one plus two, one plus two into hit dash or hermit one plus two into hit dash. Now the reason for this is of course, they do the most amount of chip damage on block. You won't get a combo out of 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2 into hit dash. You just get a follow up. So, for example, right? Where's my hit dash? Namco. Nani? Right? So, 62. But Hermit, you can get a combo after this one. Right? So, yeah. So, just something basic. Now, the second reason you want to use these is because they actually do more chip damage than Leroy's Hit Burst. That's right. So, Leroy's Hit Burst, like I showed you guys earlier, right? That's the, that, that's the chip damage it does. So, take a note of the life of the chip bar right there. Then now, look at 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. Look at that. <laughs> look at that chip. That's ridiculous. My new this is chip damage into plus five in your face mix up. And Leroy has an orbital and he has down three two. So it's either he takes away that gray health or you get launched for a mix up, right? That's it's pretty scary. Right? Then uh Hermit one plus two as well. Uh look at the chip damage for this. I didn't I didn't cancel my bad. Dude, my hit ran out. Okay. Boom. So look at that, right? Slightly more than his uh, hit burst, right? So hit burst, sorry, his hit smash, sorry, hit smash, one plus two, one plus two, one plus two into hit dash, or hermit one plus two into hit dash are those options that you should use if you want to burn your hit gauge, right? If you want to get out of hit and use a hit gauge, use these options. Now, of course, I mean this on block, right? On hit, of course, if you do land something like a parry, right, from double one plus two, of course, you want to get a combo, right? Now, if your opponent is, of course, like low health or something, right, of course, you want to land this, right, to get a combo, it's just something basic, right? Of course, you want to do this, ideally. But in a situation that you're running out of hit and your opponent is like on block, right? So you're better off just going for the chip, in my opinion. Try your best to get into Hermit, right? So back three, I know it's risky. But try your best to go into, even forward, forward, four, right? Try your best to go into Hermit and access that Hermit 1 plus 2. Because again, it's a mid, right? So at the end of the day, you're getting massive chip damage and a chance to get a launch on hit, right? So that's, that's pretty, look at the chip damage, guys. That's pretty freaking strong, right? So yeah, those are what, that's what I wanted to talk about, about Leroy's, uh, burning Leroy's hit. Those are the three options you want to use, in my opinion. Uh, forward, forward, four, forward, four, four is mid-high, so it can be ducked. But again, if you get a whiff punish, I mean, yeah, you're better off burning it, right, and getting a launch, right? I do understand that, right? Like, same for down by 1 plus 2 and down 1 plus 2. But these don't do a significant amount of chip damage. Again, in situation best, right? On block, like I said, go for these options, right, in the hit smash as well. So one other thing I wanted to talk about again with Leroy is how not to waste hit. Now, this is one aspect I completely hate about Leroy. It's kind of like low with his nunchuck when he's in heat, but it applies to Leroy and it's actually worse with Leroy in my opinion. Okay, so Leroy's BNB combo is this one, right? We all know this BNB combo. If you don't, please check out my Leroy combo guide, right? This is the way you screw with Leroy or his most damaging combo route, BNB. Now, the problem with this combo is when you're in heat, right? Remember, we talked about how all of Leroy's fury punches take away his heat gauge right so even in a combo this will happen so look at my heat gauge right now right you see that i have lost my heat gauge now this aspect completely sucks right now there's no one way to get around this because you have to sacrifice damage for the heat gauge or you sacrifice heat gauge for your damage which sucks so hard like this sucks and it's really really annoying now this i won't even complain about like it's 
I mean, I won't even trouble you guys if you fail to do this, because even I sometimes forget and use so, waste so much heat gauge because I'm using this this screw to take away my heat gauge. So what you want to do, or if you can manage to do this, is you want to use this other combo root, which deals significantly less damage. Something like this, for example, um, uh, this, right? Right, so yeah, not as strong. I think you lose like five to six, five or four points of damage, right? So yeah, it's it's annoying. I get that. It's annoying, but again, that hit bar is so important, especially with Leroy Man. Like that chip damage, you feel it. It has a huge impact on the match, guys. So you try to try your best to avoid this with Leroy. This is more so annoying at the war because a classic Leroy combo that we all know is, for example, uh, let's get um. Right, basic combo. Oh my goodness. Right. Um, I was a bit too slow. A bit rusty, guys. I haven't used Leroy in a long time. As you know, I'm playing Steve right now, so forgive me. Forgive me. Right? This is a classic Leroy combo we all know and love. However, yeah, dude, this sucks. The ground punches also count as a fury of punches with Leroy. So that means. Yeah, he uses hit bar as well, which sucks. So what you want to do instead is this, right? That, that's a better option you have when you're in hit, right? Again, I think I dropped it there. I dropped it again, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, it's a YouTube curse. Bro, oh my fucking God. There we go. Right, that's the option you should use in place of the down back two, one plus two. It's annoying because even his normal war combo, right? This one. This is a very damaging combo, but in hit, it comes at the cost of your hit gauge. So now you want to avoid this. Instead, you want to do something like this. If you don't go for the normal combo, let's do something like this. Right, this is good enough. Or just finish the whole thing, right? Right, that's, that's what you can do, right? So at the end of the day, it sucks, I know, but like, yeah, it's, it's a way better option you have. So there. Yeah. Now, this is one aspect I would want fixed about Leroy. Do not take away his, his hit gauge when he uses the Fury of Combos in a combo, right? It sucks so much and it really kills his damage and overall his game plan because that's a huge chunk of hit gauge, right? So yeah, that aspect kind of sucks. So again... If you can manage to avoid it, try your best. But again, if you don't, I understand. It's something I struggle with as well. So there you have it, guys. A guide on how to utilize Leroy's hit mechanic. Again, as always, if you think I could do this guide a little better, please let me know in the comment section. Any feedback is welcome. I can always improve on this guide. I'll try to do some other short videos on like setups and stuff for like Oki with chip damage. I know people have asked for this, but I want to involve all of this in my Leroy guide, the long ass like two hour plus guide on Leroy and just everything I've spoken about into one huge just guide. So look forward to that. But again, thank you so much if you made it this far. If you enjoyed my Leroy video, please check out this Leroy introduction guide as well. If you're thinking of picking up the character, GG.